Hey folks, and welcome back to our series of videos on duplicate control in Ammo CRM. In this video, you will learn one more method of duplicate control, match and buy custom field. Here's how it works in a nutshell. If there is a custom field in the lead or contact card you'd like to act as a marker for duplicate search, it should be either text or numerical type of field. Incoming leads will be screened for similar data in this particular custom field. If the custom field is in the contact card, then only the leads where the main contact has similar custom field data will be considered for duplicate merging. It's pretty simple really. It'll make more sense with a proper example of course. So imagine you have a customer base with certain members having your loyalty cards, each one unique and provided after the first purchase. You want to eliminate all duplicate loyalty cards because things like that happen too. Thus, we're looking for similar card IDs. Let's see how this would look in Amo CRM. First, let's set up the custom field for the loyalty card ID. We go to the lead section, then we open any lead card and press settings. Here we click add a field and name it loyalty card ID. Now let's say we issued a card for this particular customer and its number is um, 119045. Good enough. Time to tune our duplicate control settings. In the leads section, we press setup and proceed to duplicate control settings. Here we select add field and choose loyalty card ID, the one we created just now. We check this box over here and press save. Now we're all ready to see it in action. Here's our website with a sign up form with a loyalty ID card field in it. We want to know if that's a returning customer who already has a loyalty card or had one given to them by their grandma. Now we're looking at the lead card of an older customer with the same loyalty card ID who purchased from us a while ago. Notice the loyalty card ID number. It's the same. As soon as the new lead enters the system, Based on our setup rules, it will be merged automatically with an older lead already in the system. All new information will be added to this older lead. And that really is it. With the custom field method, the possibilities for duplicate lead prevention are boundless. You can pretty much end this problem altogether. In the next video, we'll learn how to perform a manual duplicate check and have control over the process whenever you need it most. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.